No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. And we're back. And today we are looking at the Legacy United uh, Cybertron Hotshot. So, uh, I mainly mostly got this figure because, you know, I really love the car mode. Uh, I did grow up a little bit with Cybertron. I was probably like four years old when the show originally came out, so I only caught glimpses of it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I've always liked this particular mold and, and character, so I figured, you know what, screw it, I'll pick him up. Um, but yeah, uh, really not much else to look at, so let's just get him out of the package and get to the uh, actual figure itself. Alright, so here's Hot Shun. Wait a minute. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so here's Hot Shot in car mode. Uh, I know, that joke was pathetic, but anyway. Um, here's Hot Shot in car mode. Uh, wheels roll, he rolls really well, and I love the car mode. I think it's supposed to be based on like an old Chrysler concept car, just going based off the front here. Obviously the back's been incredibly modified to avoid licensing issues. I'm not gonna lie, this would make a really nice sun streaker. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, I love the car mode. Uh, it is missing some paint details, particularly the red bumper on the front of the car. Uh, you know, I wish that was painted in, but I mean, and I also wish the wheels were painted. But aside from that, this car mode is incredibly solid. I, I really like it. It does have that gimmick of the little uh, wing flap things, so you can pull those out. Um, it's not spring-loaded like the original, but I mean... To be honest, I mean, it was a different time when stuff like that was, you know, not stupidly expensive. Okay, that's that's getting on my nerves now. There we go. So, you can still do it like that. And to be fair, I mean, the original Legends figure, I mean, you know, it was the same thing. So, I can forgive that, you know? And yes, this is my original from way back in the day. This thing is God knows how old, but he's in relatively great shape. It's one of the few toys I took really good care of, so I'm really proud of that. But uh, there's the vehicle mode. Uh, let's look at his accessories real quick, since he's got quite a few of them. At least from what it feels like, anyway. Alright, let's see here. Oh, actually, there's not that much in here. Okay. So we got the weapon, which, you know, it's just your standard blaster. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I like doing that. It's annoying. So it comes with this blaster, which, you know, standard blaster. It's clear, but uh, it doesn't shoot anything, which is fine. I mean, you know, this is modern Hasbro, so it, it is what it is. It can just plug up here, so that's, that's nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then he comes with a cyber planet key, which I think goes back here. Um, oh yeah, okay, so this goes back here. So obviously on the original toy, that's how you would have activated the wing gimmick, but, uh, you know, it's it's cool. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there, because I don't even think you need to remove that for transformation. So, uh, speaking of transformation, uh, let's get to it. Alright, so... Uh, I guess we'll throw in the Legends one too, but we'll do the big one first. Uh, I don't have the original Deluxe because I never had it growing up, but I, I did have this guy, so it's the best I was going to get anyway. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is uh, unclip the top section here. You actually don't even need to remove the weapon, you can just leave that on there too. So that's one thing I do like about this figure. Nothing needs to come off for transformation, which is really nice. Um, go ahead and wiggle the arms out. There we go. And go ahead and spread those out like this. And then what you want to do is pull the windshield up. And it should come out. Oh, yeah, by the way, his face is poking out in vehicle mode. So, yeah, if you don't want to deal with that, turn his face around before you transform him back to car mode. So, just thought I'd point that out, just so you can never unsee that because of how terrifying that is. Um, anyway. Go ahead and uh, pry this apart. Here, we'll come back to that. Um, so what you want to do is split the legs. Split the legs. Then open them up. So yeah, very Combiner war style, which I, I get it. They don't really like doing the sliding joints anymore. Which, I mean, that's fine, I guess. 
at least this way you don't have that crap where like if it gets loose it just collapses inward like on a lot of like masterpiece primes so uh, you know that is one benefit to this technique is that you don't have that issue anymore um, although granted I do miss the the nice springiness of uh, you know those old uh, slide out joints and this leg is being difficult there we go pull that out pull that out fold the feet out rotate them out like this uh, it should click into place, but it's not doing it. Do the same with the other side. Pull that out. Fold that out, and you're done. Then we'll, uh, let's get back to this uh, windshield piece here. So uh, go ahead and go ahead and keep folding the canopy upwards. Okay, sorry about that. The canopy was just really stiff, but uh, it does open. So there's that. We'll rotate that around like this. Then go ahead and split the arms up here. Ah, damn. Let's go and split those out like that. Then the head will come out of this back section here. Then you want to just collapse all that inward. I think this is supposed to fold in actually um, into the uh, the back here. Uh, hmm. I'll have to look at. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, you can take the weapon off, so if you want to use that in uh, robot mode, you can. Uh, let's see, did he hold it in his hand, or did he hold it on the side? Uh, I'm going to put it in his hand. Actually, no. You know what, I'm going to be different. I'm going to put it on the arm here. Yeah, now that's kind of cool looking. Again, I, I don't know too much about the Unicron Trilogy. I haven't revisited it in years. And I guess we'll throw... Oop. <laughs> um, I guess we'll throw this in as a bonus, just because... Uh, why not? His feet really don't like to stay. Uh, could just be a problem with my mold. So yeah, uh, we'll throw this in as a bonus just because why not. A little trip down memory lane for my little buddy here. Uh, yeah, extend that out. There we go. Go and fold that out. And fold the little wings out just because why not. Again, I'm sorry if I'm having trouble. I'm sorry if my most recent reviews I've been having trouble getting stuff on camera. It's just I haven't done reviews in a while, and I've been super busy with a lot of things. So uh, please forgive the quality of, of things. But uh, there's the Legends version. So we'll go ahead and put that uh, right there. But uh, anyway, um, sorry this review is super long. If you do see him, pick him up because he's pretty solid. He's really nice. But uh, until next time, you all have a good one. Soul saved!